said his name. Can we edit that? I did say I can just do a pop pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking with Naomi Mirassine and uh, she's a really close friend of mine and she, her, her and me got to know each other on Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought you were brand new, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> and we're going to talk about like stories in the film industry, what you need to know first time we got into, you know, certain situations and stuff like that. So welcome. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure. Why did I say thank you? Yeah, because you're here. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, how did we meet? Do we want to tell the story? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay, so the day we met, um, it was Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Um, I've already been on this show for about a week, I want to say. Yeah, week, maybe two weeks. Yeah, we had, like, new people coming, like, all the time because everyone wants to be on that show. show, too. I remember seeing this girl, <laughs> you. <laughs> she, uh, she looked very green. Green is, like... New. New. And uh, why? Why did I look? Because you were new? looking at your phone as soon as I think as soon as I saw you, you were um, uh, immediately just as soon as I saw you, this person and uh, on your phone. You know, people were opening the door and everything else, and just people were passing by you. I'm like, oh dear, this is no good. So I don't remember how or far I just approached you or something. I was on a break, and uh, I remember. I think we switched places. Yeah, like, it the rotated. The key was making us switching places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our boss on that, it was kind of strict. And, um, <laughs> kind of. Kind of strict. And uh, I, I just remember that I need to help this girl. I think I just should. It was a hot day. We're by the, <laughs> we're by the uh, water. I and, gotta uh, help her. Yeah, she just, I just want to help her. So <laughs> I go up to her. I'm just like, hey, I don't think I remember what I said, but along the lines of, hey, well, what's it go? How's it going? Yes, uh, I wanted some sunscreen. You yeah, had a hat or something. Do you have a hat? Yeah, and you were like, uh, uh no, or like, <laughs> or something like that. Or I don't need and one. Do you have sunscreen? Like, it's really hot out. You're pale. I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want any? I think you remember going like, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, sure. Sunscreen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I got some. Wow. All the bugs coming when I'm yeah. talking. Oh, I remember also saying, like, just to let you know, the boss is kind of strict. So just, you should stay off your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you should stay off your phone. No idea. You had how much experience by this time? Five years. Huh. I had, what, just under a year? <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we switch around and go to our different positions. Oh, no, but that's no, how we connected. No, That's right. We Okay, so I talked to her again. You're missing the whole point. That's right, that's right. So she was on her phone a lot because she was booking or it was ALM for yeah. another show yeah. called Power Rangers, the recent Power Rangers. <laughs> and the only reason why I was interested in that when she brought it up was because it was back in Kamloops where I'm from. Is there something going on? Yeah. Or something and you're just like, what did, what did you say? Oh, I said something like, oh dude, I've been doing this for so long or yeah. like, I don't really care. I'm only here for, not that I don't care, I'm but like, I know how this works. I know these dudes and I'm actually, I have to book like seven people for tomorrow That's because right. we're going to Kamloops and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And as soon as she said Kamloops, I was like, cool. Oh, <laughs> Kamloops, eh? For what reason? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're shooting a film of Power Rangers. I was like, God, I need to know that. I need to be really nice to this woman right now. Then, then you started to be really nice. Like, I know. Oh, really? <laughs> really? I was like, yeah, I'm actually at ALM for Power Rangers and I'm trying to book. Networking and... people, networking. <laughs> so right, and then I remember, yeah, totally switching my attitude towards you and just being like, so that's so super awesome. <laughs> Who are you guys looking for? Like, do you guys have your crew to go there? Or you're like, oh, we're looking for another key. I'm just like, another key before, but really cool. I've never keyed, but like, would you be looking for one? <laughs> and uh, I think you were like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Paperwork? You know how to do paperwork? And I was like, fuck, I don't know how to do paperwork. <laughs> I have no well, you idea. You said yes, right? I think I did. There you go. I think I did say, yeah, I think I do, you know, working in the office. I think. You, <laughs> you were like, you were like, you were like, uh, oh yeah, like office work and all, as, as soon as you said office, like everything that was overwhelming just came into my brain. I was like, yeah, I think I can do it. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. I can do this. Yeah. See? 
Sometimes you have to like lie a little bit, but in a good way, you know? We're promoting lying? <laughs> Not lying, but you have to do what is needed for your goal. Yeah. And yeah. you know, if you know that you're gonna get a car, or you're gonna manage to do this or what is needed, then it's okay, you know? Because if you say, no, I don't know how to do that, then the person is gonna go to see someone else. Mm -hmm. Well, long story short, I did, <laughs> you did hire me or yeah. you did call me. I was, I remember I was like, I had like, my my phone was like constantly bing, bing, because yeah. I was texting so many people because it was so busy back then. So the busiest I've ever known. Yeah. I was trying to like, I was like Facebook, like everybody was busy. And yeah, I remember you kept texting me like, I didn't so, want to give up. <laughs> yeah, you kept it. At first I said, okay, maybe. I was like, who's, who's, who's that girl? Like, this, she has like experience or whatever, you know? So I kept texting other people, but you kept like texting me, hey, so I could doing that or <laughs> what do you need or blah, blah, blah. And so at the end of the day, I was like, okay, she seemed like she really wants to. So I'm just going to give it to her, whatever. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> yeah, I remember you saying something like, yeah, we have a couple other people, but yeah, I could take your number. As soon as you said that, I'm like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to text you every day. I'm like, I need to get it. I even phoned my mom. I'm just like, I'm coming home because we're shooting a video. <laughs> we're shooting power <laughs> That's home. right. See, that's the power of manifestation there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so long story short, we shot in Kamloops, which was a very good bonding experience for a lot of us. Yeah. And dealing with a lot of people and pressures of like 35 PAs a day and green green, green PAs. PAs because it, it has to be all local hires yeah end of the story is we're not a really good friend <laughs> <laughs> no yeah we we became really tight after that because we did Power Rangers which was an awesome film an awesome experience to be a part of just like I met my other close friend on that film as well. Yeah, after that, what did we do? Oh, we did Predator. We did, lots of we did life stuff after that. We just like experienced life yeah. together. Yeah. I think that was why I was attached to you because I did how many, oh, a year, maybe two years of film before that and you just get stuck in what I talked about before was the golden jail. Yeah. Show, 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 money, money, money. Okay, new time, living on my own. I think it was 2021. <laughs> We need dirt gently. Uh, oh, that's right. That was so much fun. We're still friends after how many years now? Four. Four Early years. 2016. Yeah, that's how we met. That's how we met. That's right. Uh, why did you want to, um, yeah, come here? Because I know you're from Quebec. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> It's a, I mean, we don't have to be that professional. We can. We did make one video before this, and I took it off my my YouTube uh, uh, videos because um, it was just insiders. We have a ton. You took it off. I, well, it's unlisted. It's still there. Oh, okay. But I have to give you a link in okay. order for you to see it. Okay. Uh, but it was just insiders. It was hilarious for us, but for everybody else, oh, it's yeah. so bad. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess. But if you're in the film industry and you know you're a PA and you know what's up. Then yeah. it's then it's hilarious. It should have just been called if you know you know. If you know um, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Nope, who's coming? Honestly, I think why is he is he, is he your boss? Shadows are going to come here? Mm -hmm. What's power you? Uh, you don't have it. No, you do. <laughs> you don't have it on your But that looks like a crew. You try I'm pretty darn slow. We just learned that, yeah, it's too far. Why would that have crew park over there when there's customers over there? Why wouldn't we have them over here? Oh my god, he's talking yeah. So anyway, yeah, you came here for the dream, right? I came here for the dream, yeah. I came here for uh, working on set. I had no idea what I wanted to do on set, but I just wanted to work on set. It was such a big thing, huge thing for me because I'm from a small town. And uh, I moved here because... It's just, I wanted to follow the dream and I had no idea how to start. Didn't know anybody, yeah. anything. So I just started the hard way. What is the hard way? I didn't have someone on YouTube who's making videos on how to start, how to be a PA. Hit me up. Which actually would have been so, so helpful. Oh my gosh, right? oh my gosh. I know for me too. Ugh. Yeah, no, it wasn't like that for me. <laughs> how did I start? That's a long story. 
Hey, we got time. If you <laughs> didn't have my very helpful videos yeah. that you should go see, tag them in the cards right here. Yeah, how, how did you do that? Well, here's a little story about perseverance. 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 Well, I know what you're saying. Perseverance. perseverance. I'll put it at the bottom. Perseverance. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just really, really, really wanted it. Like, there was nothing more I wanted to just work on set. I was just, I was so mesmerized by it. And one, once you want, once you want something like that, you're just willing to do anything. Yeah. And it all started when I, um, I heard that Percy Jackson 2 was coming in town to film. Yeah. Because I had friends in the film in the film school, and they were telling me that Percy Jackson was filming here, mm. and I was a big fan of Logan Lerman back then. The movie, and I was like, "What? <laughs> what? I gotta work on that set? There's just no way I'm not gonna work on that because they're here, and I'm here, so I'm gonna work on it." Right. So the first thing I did is I googled um, Percy Jackson filming Vancouver, and then I found a, a fan page of uh, pictures of the filming that's happening in Vancouver yeah wow okay so I just found like a bunch of like random stuff information that they're filming here and um, not and nothing useful but I did find like a fan page of lots of picture and then it was the pictures taken the same day so it was happening like today oh gotcha okay and I found a picture of them like sitting at a cafe it looked like they were sitting at a cafe the actors and I could see the sign in the background of the cafe mm -hmm. but only half of it it was like um, e, uh, I A N O I could see that the sign was cut in half so the last letters of the cafe name was I A N O and I was like yeah no Cafe Yano, what's that? So then I googled Cafe Yano or anything like wow, that. Wow, that's so smart. <laughs> yeah, googled again, like totally stalker. And then I found a Cafe Artigiano. That's a cafe? Cafe Artigiano. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it was matching the picture. <laughs> anyway, I stalked him and then I found that that's where they were. At, at a cafe shooting? They were sitting at a Café Artigiano. I had no idea if they were shooting. Oh. They kind of looked like they were chilling around. So then I just Googled again, Café Artigiano, Vancouver, and then like 30 cafes came up. Well, it is a cafe. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is a cafe. Yeah, it is a yeah. cafe. That's why I was like, wait a minute, where is this going? <laughs> okay. Long story, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, I just researched the crap out of it in a... Um, I called all every single Cafe Artigiano in Vancouver and wow. I asked them, hey, is there a filming around you guys today? Was there a filming around you guys? Wow. No, no. Okay, next. I call the next one, the next one. There's literally, I think, like 30 cafes in Vancouver. And you call every single one? I called every single one. And then finally I found one who was downtown by the Vancouver, all, Vancouver Art Gallery. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, yeah, they, they were filming today. So I took the address and I was living in Ord Van and I just like made the trip over to downtown and I was just so excited. When she told me, yes, they're here, I was like, yeah, I know I'm that. Going. <laughs> it was pouring rain and I took my shit and I went and I found the set when it was the first time in my life that I was seeing a film set like real. Right. Because I've been watching behind the scenes forever. By the way, there's bugs everywhere. That's why yeah. we're not seeing things. It's just, anyway. So I was like, beyond beyond excited to just just that for me it was like a part of my dream realized like oh my gosh there it is the movie set Ooh, all right <laughs> so i walked around like the trucks and the grip trucks and the alex truck was just so amazing and i walked around and then for probably two hours i just walked around the set because they were at the art gallery great security team yeah wow yeah it was downtown right so People were walking around, and then until one guy noticed me, and he just uh, he came to see me. I was like, "Hey, you've been you've been doing the loops here." I'm like, "Yep, yep, yep, yep." <laughs> like you, you want to work in films? I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah." How we just I don't speak English. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my English was so bad too back then. Uh, anyway, so this guy came up, and then that that was my first connection. Mm -hmm. And I talked a little bit with him, but he was a PA, right? So he had he was busy, he couldn't really just talk to me. Right. And then 
I was just really nice, you know. I was just like honest, like yeah, I'm just curious about like how it works and all. He's like, cool. He's like, tomorrow we're gonna be at the uh, at Chinatown. So he hinted me where they were gonna be tomorrow, and I said, cool. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Wow. So I came back the next day because I knew exactly where they were, and then I talked to horrible PA, but yeah, horrible <laughs> PA. Well. <laughs> No, he was good actually because you know we we had a conversation first and he saw that I wasn't just like a groupie or like someone oh, okay. who just wanted to take a picture. I just like chilled with him and um, I just let him know that I just wanted to like safely watch or just I just wanted to get into the film industry somehow. Yeah, he was a good PA. I'm oh, okay. still friends with him. Nice. So the next day I went and to the Chinatown location and I met another dude because I I hung out that hung out there the whole day whole day whole day from what time from i don't know from the morning until they wrapped should be the pa for free yeah that's even worse <laughs> yeah totally totally like i was i was like i just wanted to give them money so i could be on set <laughs> <laughs> absolutely totally <laughs> i i was willing to do anything but that's really was my mentality i was like i don't care Anyway, so I met this dude and he was really nice and uh, he was another PA and he was telling me about where they were going to be and I asked him if they needed some people and he was like, well, you should ask the ALM for that. He's like, the ALM, what's that? So he kind of explained it to me what an ALM was, um, but he said, just send your resume to his email address. You'll find him online. Wow. So I said, okay, cool. And was that the DGC website or? Nope. No, not even, it? not even. I just Googled his name again and went back home and I Googled because I didn't know about the DGC back then. Right. I Googled his name and then I, I finally found, after like three or six, three or four pages, um, his resume on, on LinkedIn or something, like some sort of business page. I found his resume, which I was able to download, and then I found um, his email address Wow. on the resume. Wow. So here I was, so I emailed this guy, and I was like, hi, my name is, and I just was wondering if I could work with you guys or if you need, like, any helper, blah, blah, blah. I sent him my resume, and I was, like, so stoked that I finally <laughs> found someone. <laughs> and I just waited in front of my computer just to see if, you know, he was going to reply, and I waited, and I waited. So the next morning, he replies, and uh, the reply was one sentence. Something like, do you think I have time for useless emails like that? No way! Yeah. What a <laughs> It was something really mean like that. Just like the guy didn't give a shit. Oh! Didn't even say hi or anything. He's just like, do you think I have time for shit like that? <laughs> what? I, yeah. How I, did you feel when you saw that? Um, I laughed. Oh, okay, that's good. I laughed. I would have cried. <laughs> no, no, because I was so determined. So I, I just didn't care. You know, I was like, ha, watch me going in person and meeting you in person. And I'll watch you saying that you told that to me, yeah. you know, in person. See how you feel now, <laughs> because I'm going to go at your office dropping my resume. Oh, no, she didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was so determined and that's what I did you know the guy just told me just like fuck off and I went and I was like I'm gonna go anyway I'm gonna go in person so I printed my resume and then I went to the Skytrain to freaking the end of Burnaby went to the office and um, I was a bit nervous then. then I was nervous because I knew he was not expecting me he knew that I sent my resume and he just didn't want to hear from me but still, I was going in to say, hey, I want to work with you. Right. I was like, I'm shaking a little bit. And you know the office? Like oh, when yeah. you work in the office, everybody's just a bit grumpy or just like looking at you. Like, what are you doing there? Here's a newbie with a sheet, a piece of paper in her hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here Hello, can I help you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't want to help you, but anyway. Yes. So I just walked in and I said, hey, I want to see... Uh, I'm here to see... We okay. won't say the name. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I want to see... Yeah, I want to see that person. <laughs> he said, okay, he's expecting you? I said, no. So she's like, 
calls, she takes the phone, she calls him, she's like, Hey, I have uh, this person, uh, what's your name, please? You want me waiting for you? Are you expecting her? Okay. She hangs up and she's like, Okay, so down the, down the hallway to the right. Wow, such good security we have in this <laughs> film industry. <laughs> wow. She let me in. So he was busy in his office, mm -hmm. so I was kind of waiting beside. There was another ALM just beside me who was just chilling with the, the office PA, and we started talking. He's like, hey, so who are you? What are you doing here? So I'm um, Noemi, introduced myself, and I'm here to see this guy because I just want to be a PA. He was like, oh, oh well, I'm an ALM too. My name is... And you can leave it with me. And he was like, so nice. So nice. And we just talked for like 10 minutes. You know, where are you from? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, cool. Have you ever worked in the film industry? Okay, yeah, no, we can get you in anyway. Um, wow. Do you have a car? I said, yeah. But I didn't have a car, but somehow I knew that I needed <laughs> to say yes. So I said, yeah. So I talked to this guy who really was my first contact in the film industry after all these efforts. So he got you your first gig? He told me that he might need some people in like two weeks. If I, ha if I have a car that would be useful because they're gonna be in like Elder Grove or whatever. I said, yeah, yeah, cool. But I think I was so like relatable. Like I was like just a, he could see that I was just like a chill, a normal person, a right. nice person. Yeah. Um, and we talked about everything. And um, that's how he was like, cool. And uh, she seemed like, and okay, chicks, check. <laughs> after that, I waited for two weeks and then he finally called me after two weeks and he was like, hey, so you wanna work? He calls me, he texts me like, oh, of course, like at 9 p.m. on a Wednesday, asking if I'm available for Thursday morning at 5 a.m. And I have a job back then, I'm working, I'm teaching. Oh. But I have to make it work, right? Yeah. So I have to just like find someone else for the next day and just, you know, how the film industry is, just like, changes every second yes I did I rented a car I rented a van like 4 a.m. in the morning because I needed to be there and I had never driven Vancouver like big city <laughs> I drove all the way there so nervous about my big day and then that was my first day and I was just in awe wow. the whole day I got on set and inside of me I was like oh my god <laughs> Everywhere around me, I was looking. It was like amazing, but of course, I wasn't like that on set. I knew that I had to be just like cool and yeah. Cool. <laughs> and when there were, nobody was looking, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I knew nothing like the terms. I I felt like it was really cool, but when I got home, I was like, Fuck, I'm never gonna do that again. I'm never doing. Did that they again. give you a walkie and everything? Yeah. First th okay. Wow. They give me a walkie, and they just like roughly told me how it worked and. You know, you're the new girl, everybody's kind of looking at you or just like making fun a little bit of you. And like, so what's your 20? <laughs> what? What's your 20? Oh, Yo, it, where it you was at? so over, because I wanted to do a good impression, right? Mm -hmm. But there's so many things I didn't know. Like film <laughs> terms are like, she was like, oh yeah, you can go far and watch the barn because we have lots of lights in there. Okay, cool, yeah. So I actually went to the barn and I, was, I thought I was actually just, be there to watch the lights so they the barn doesn't get in fire yeah <laughs> fire watch fire right watch. so i stayed there for hours she so <laughs> she asked me are you good there yeah nothing's on fire <laughs> 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 that is exactly how my first fire watch went too i'm just like really fire watch oh okay yeah, yeah. whoa you know like yeah you don't yeah. know I feel I was, you. Things catch you on fire. They have a fire watch <laughs> person. Whoa! And so, then they told me to call out rolling, and I was so shy. I just didn't yeah. want to yell out rolling. I was like, oh my god, just yell in front of all these people that are looking at me. They don't know who I am. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Rolling. <laughs> rolling. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> We're rolling. Rolling. <clears throat> rolling. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. <coughs> I'm sick. Sorry. Rolling. <laughs> Nowadays, it'll be like, don't yell because you're spraying under your mask yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah, back in the day, like, yell it as loud as you can. Yeah, spray all that spit everywhere. Yeah. So that was my first day. Wow. And then, um, that's how I started, and I got to, he called me back another day to do, like, another day, and then I got to know a little bit more of the crew, and then it started, that's how it started, and then when that show ended, like, the LM was going on to another show, so then I went into another show and I started to do that full time mm -hmm. because he saw that I really wanted to work mm -hmm. and I didn't care if I was at work twice for 15 hours a day. I was like, yep, yeah, whatever. Anything you want, yeah. Yeah. 
anything you want. Then I got to know like other people too. So you're that, networking. Networking that later on called me to go on their show and then 10 years later. 10 years later. 10 years later. <laughs> Has it actually been 10 years? Uh, that was that was 2012. So 2012. eight years. Wow. But yeah. you wanted to act too, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So at first I wanted to be like close to set all the time right. because I just wanted to watch the actors. Like I want to act, I want to learn, I want to study everything, <laughs> which I did, which was great. And I met lots of them. You know, once you've been doing that for a year or two, you're like, hey, I'm just going to be a bit <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> well, it depends who you're working with yes. too. But then after that, I got into keying, into airlining, into camera and set deck, and mm -hmm. now I have a baby. <laughs> That's right. Where is who is not here at the moment? I recently got a text message asking me, "How do you network?" Really? I want to say, yeah, and that's a good question to think about because when you think of networking, how we did it, we just became friends. Like her and me, we just became friends. I hopefully you saw a good work ethic in me. I don't know. Uh, yeah or whatever perseverance because I was texting you or something like that. If you're just like getting day calls and just one a day, one a day, I would recommend that you, yeah, just really give 100% in the day. If you did get a day call, yeah, give 100% uh, because you don't know if you're gonna get called back once you're just like, that's that one contact, that's that yeah. one person you can text. If you really wanna work like in the film industry, that's what you wanna do, definitely I would say like talk talk to people talk to everybody like talk to anybody and everybody because you don't know like you you can be stuck at work trucks let's say but then the the light up is just you're talking to chatting with the light up about whatever and he's got another show and he might be able to bring you on you know or it just gives your name to someone else like you just never know and so just talk to a lot of people you know, talk to anybody you can and just be you, just be nice. Don't overdo it, you know, because people like sense that too. Mm -hmm. Just be chill, you know, like just be normal and talk to people. Don't be just like on your phone. Or <laughs> like, yeah, my mom told me I had to get a job, so <laughs> my life. Yeah, do that if you don't want to get called again. Yeah, it's, it's so true. You don't know who you're talking to. Like you say, like the light up. He might've been in the industry for three years, four years and has multiple location contacts even though he's in a different department yeah so he might be a lot up on this show but then the next show we might be in ALM so yeah or like that that goes with where you want to go like PAing is an entry-level position like do you want to go set deck do you want to go into lighting do you want to network with those people as well because they can also give you jobs in the movie of the week MOW world you don't need that many qualifications yeah but you need to know a little bit of what you're doing yeah it's it's 90 percent of the job in film is networking I would yeah say. it's all about who you know like still like the first guy that hired me the alm he's uh, even though like i'm not working right now because i'm a stay-at-home mom he like we're super good friends like he texted me and he wants to go for drinks wow know? and he would like if I would want to go back to work to do anything, he would just like take me like that. You wow. Know? So yeah. it's like, you never know, like super powerful connection. S same with that. You never know who you're talking to or, or whatever goes along with if you're just having a crappy day. You don't really want to do anything or, or you, you get caught off guard or something's happening at your your home or family and you're constantly on here. I would give everybody the heads up like something is happening. I will be on my phone more than often or just like letting people yeah. know instead of just screw you guys and then just fighting in the corner sitting especially down especially on set especially on set yeah especially on set if you're not having a good day just ask to be away from set go, uh, go to the work trucks a door circus or whatever yeah absolutely if you don't know what those mean film terms card up here you can watch my video I mean, I think we have multiple conversations. I'm probably gonna bring you back on if I can because we have so much information that I wish I knew, like you and me wish we knew in the beginning stages of being a PA. Yeah. Because you just don't, you don't know. Yeah. No one tells you. There's no book. Yeah. Maybe I'll write a book. But now there is Lauren's channel though. Plug! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it if you stay to the end. I appreciate you even more. If you would like to see more of this, um, please subscribe <laughs> and hit the like button. 
and uh, we'll see you on the next one. On set? Oh, thank you. I'll see you yeah, on set. hopefully I'll see you on set. I'm still working on set, so I'll see you on set. Maybe you too. Yeah. Maybe you'll see you Yeah, set. yeah, I'd love to know if we actually helped some people to have more guidance. Yeah, if you guidance. do. Actually, yeah. If you do see any of us on set, let us know where you saw us. If it was this video, we're going to be honored to talk to you about it. Yeah, hit us up. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, that's it. Today, hopefully you guys can hear me. Do you want to check? Yep. Can I do a <laughs> <laughs> sound check? Yeah, we probably. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I didn't think this went through. Okay, so blocking out the whole day to edit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna continue this after. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, he's gonna back out. This is how we prepare for all of this stuff. <laughs> we don't prepare for anything. <laughs> Great. <laughs> As we're like getting eaten and just look like yeah, we need to go that? in a mental institution. You guys, why you're going? Mm -hmm. No, like. <laughs> <laughs> the fire doesn't they keep away the bugs. Um. <laughs> yeah. Not nearly onset heat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you said his name. Can we edit that? I did say I can just do a pop pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the yeah. same for when I said the, the name of just the Just do the name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> little sound effect there. Yeah, we uh, low budget, low do our own sound effects. Yeah. Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Denny's. Denny's. The restaurant, Denny's. There's no promo. But yeah. Lots of inside. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> the neighbor. Hi. John. Um. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are we going to end it like that? We need an outro. An outro? Yeah. Or an intro? Outro. Outro. <gasps> Speaking of Rose. Yes. Hello. Hello, Rose. You fait bisous à maman? You fait bisous à maman? So, everybody, this is uh, Rose if she decides to come in to the picture and not wreck the camera. Don't touch the camera. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hello. This is Rose. I wish she could introduce herself, but we're going to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.